Hey Aquarius, let's see what's coming your way for the month of March. Okay, so let's go with the first card. We have the car, the, the car. I was going to say change, but the car. Okay, so car could mean anything in relation to travel, vehicles, transportation, car repairs, all those things. A car, a mode of transportation, maybe a specific um, focus area for you here. It could be that if you're used to working from home, you have to commute to work. You know, there's something about transportation and all those things. So this could also be a reminder I'm hearing that if you have something you cannot be late for, you should probably pay attention to that Aquarius. Okay. Now let's get more cards here. We have the number nine here, by the way, could end up being relevant here. It could be someone born on the month of September. Um, or someone, some connections to the number nine, the ninth of a month, 9 a.m., 9 p.m. Conclusions are within reach. Okay. So change here. Something big is changing or there is a change that has been happening, but it's about to conclude. So you're about to see its full effects soon. We have, ah, this is beautiful. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. This is also satisfaction point. This is making me feel like we've finally reached equilibrium. So I think that there's a big change. Maybe you're already moving or maybe there's a change you're trying to initiate, a change that is already happening a change in routine, habits, all those things. Either you're trying to start it or you've been doing it, but it looks like we're finally reaching a breakthrough moment or a breaking point here in which you're able to um, do something. I want to say the word different, but that sounds like the wrong word. Almost like you're about to go over the finish line. That's the best way I can put that. Um, or for some of you, you're about to get over the hardest part and then the rest is going to be smooth sailing. Aquarius for March. Change expectations. So, okay, manage your expectations for the month of March. It, it could be that there are some big changes happening, but you may not be able to see them. They may be happening behind the scenes. So just be aware of that. Now, in alignment with the expectation card here, we have look at the bigger picture, but it's in reverse again. So that to me is like, just manage your expectations about whatever this thing is. Um, okay, hold on. A time for healing in reverse. Here's what I see, right? Things are starting to take effect in a more external way. You're coming out of a period of healing and maybe hibernation, hard work. It's like whatever you're doing, it's paying off. It's not going to be a physical result yet, though. Not in the month of March, okay? I keep, I cannot stop, and it's probably just my brain. I feel like my brain keeps wanting to jump to the month of April, but I think I'm just going to say it because, like, it could be a sign for you guys. Um, I feel like in April you will see a lot more progress, but in March, not so much, not in a physical way, okay? There's something that you're doing, so this could be, like, if you're moving from one house to another or if you are just making some plans about... Um, Moving to me or, or change to me is like changing the scenery here. Um, this could be like making changes with yourself, reinventing yourself. Um, this could be health routine, fitness changes. It's like I don't think you're going to see a physical change that much yet in March, but in April you will. But if you don't keep going, then that change doesn't really happen in the way that you expect, right? So... Just keep going. That's literally the message here. Let's get another card here. Okay, Aquarius. Yeah, we have the card of journey. So for a lot of you, this has to do with travel, vacations, trips, moving on, moving forward, progress, literally moving, moving to a different place, country, visiting someone else. Um, yeah, let's get some more info cards just in case for some other people here. We have the mature woman here and we have the lover's card. So for some of you, this is a trip something like oh i'm going to visit my lover in a different country or oh i'm going to finally visit a loved one a family member could be an older woman for some of you um yeah there's someone here who's going on a trip this could be coming home to the uh, going home to your province or to your hometown home country there's some form of a trip here now for others this is about um moving forward moving on from a past relationship or moving forward with a new connection. Deciding to push through with a connection. Deciding not to let anything stop you in terms of a connection. Like someone here is deciding, I'm not going to let anything stop us from meeting together. 
and we're going to fight for this relationship. There's that kind of energy here as well. So that's really good. Um, but whatever this is, this entails almost like taking the, the first step. Okay. The way for this to succeed is if you do something about it. Okay. It's time to release negativity. So, but it's in reverse. So to me, that's like, it's not hold on to negativity. It's more like use the negativity from the past. Use everything that has been a failure, maybe rejects, rejections from other people, things that have made you feel sad, upset. Use your grief sometimes and transmute it turn it into something beautiful use it as motivation even so i'm hearing for some of you it's like oh there was this person who was really mean to me or they told me i couldn't do something and i'm going to use that as my main motivation to change for the better to reclaim my own life it doesn't excuse what they did but it's more like you're just deciding it's not going to fuck with you anymore and that you're worth a lot better than that the answers you need are coming. So, but it's in reverse here. So there's something in relation to a lack of clarity here. Hold on. I want to understand this. Okay. Ah, okay. Oh, it's something. Oh, okay. I understand. These are things that you don't want to face. Okay. For some of you, this is about using the things you don't want to face, the people you don't want to face. The parts of yourself that sometimes trigger you and using it for transformational healing as motivation to move forward. This is about things you don't want to confront, things you don't want to see, you've hidden beneath the surface. But here's what I see, right? This is a progress report. This is a message of progress, a message of finally moving on. But almost like you're not going to be able to fully, truly move on unless you confront the situation for exactly what it is. I'm hearing as well, for some of you, you guys need to almost like face the truth about a certain love situation because it's not necessarily like the worst of the worst, you know, for some of you. But it's more just realizing that this person, no matter how much they love you and care about you, they're not treating you the way you know you deserve to be treated. It's about this full understanding of the transformation you need to make in order to get the life of your dreams, to get the goals, the desires that you want. And that's perfectly available for you. But we have a letting go and healing process that's happening here, Aquarius. You are good enough. That's why the first literal message here, or one of the first, is literally about self-worth and reminding you of that. Again, conclusions are within reach. And this is an eclipse energy. Makes sense. Eclipses are always transformational. Always. Once you're able to do this, you are closing a chapter to a door in your a door to a chapter in your life. You're literally like, you're like, okay, I'm done with that. Chapter closed. Okay. I'm healed. You know, and we're never really truly fully healed because healing is not linear, but it is going to feel a lot lighter lighter from here on out once you're able to do this. Um this is also about confronting things about feeling deceived by other people because I accidentally said liar. So something in relation to people who have lied to you, deceived you, or have made you feel uncomfortable in your own skin. It's about understanding that sometimes the thoughts in our brains that make us feel insecure are lies, not always to be listened to. Sometimes it's about understanding, oh, my light just flickered. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are picking up. I Probably not because it's on camera, but it's flickering. Um, and it wasn't earlier. There you go, right? Sometimes it's a lie. Sometimes the things that we think about ourselves, the, especially the worst things, are a lie. Or here's the thing. If you truly, so let's just say, for example, if someone's called you selfish, right? If you truly don't want to believe that, then go and make some changes about it. Start being a bit more selfless, right? It's either a lie or you're doing something to make yourself better, to improve yourself. And that's where I see this. This is self-improvement, but I swear, Aquarius, once you do this, I swear the amount of healing and the amount of like, yeah, I'm over it. I'm able to let go of it fully. Not just like a, a fake, I'm over it, but it still kind of bothers you on the inside. Like, no, you're genuinely over it. And you're also like, I'm happy. There's, that's what I feel here. And then that is going to propel you to the next step, whatever this is. This journey that you're supposed to be on. 
So that's what I see for you the month of March. It's going to feel like a small month, but take note of the realizations you're having because they are monumental. Once you look at them, they're pivotal moments in your life. Okay. If you like this reading or if you want to book a reading with me, book me at mediumisabella.com. I appreciate you and I'll see you next month. Okay. Bye.